Hello everyone, Speed D Man here, back with another episode of our Let's Learn Civilization 6 series. So in today's episode, we're going to continue a little bit more of our uh, Germany run here. We're going to take into account some more of the development that we need to do, and then try to really get things kind of sorted out with our districting. And then once we're in a good position here, I think we'll uh, we'll find that to be a good place for our episode to kind of just take that tempo through. You have built great cities of stone and seen early empires rise and fall. Soon you will stand under the towering pinnacles of castles alongside your gallant knights. That is where the story of your people will be written. Just as the young apprentice learns to carry a sword, okay. so shall you grow so... to understand your place in this world. Heroic That's Frederick, king yeah. of the Germans. Good thing is we've made... Your He's task is to forge nice the independent this, states uh, that surround you strength. into an end. Military slot, same thing. So, what we're going to do is, since we have, uh, let's see here, 10 turns until our, um, try to get a little more production. That's not going to get done on time. So, let's see here. That's a better tile. And so I'll leave that for now. That's not going to get done in time for the um, for the culture bomb thing to work, but that is okay. You know, it's not the end of the world. Uh, this will actually be a good tile for me to have anyways. So that's uh, 130 gold for that. Uh, a Hansa there would be really ideal. That would take seven turns. So... Only problem is I would waste the food development, so I'm not concerned about getting that yet. I can live without having that culture bomb here because these tiles over here, it's not going to provide much, you know, specific benefit. Uh, those tiles will, you know, the city will grow into those tiles at some specific point, so no problem. Um, plus, land acquisition here is going to be useful because Magdeburg is going to grow, and then. Because of that, I'll be able to pick up higher value tiles and kind of just take that growth from there. So, good position here. That's going to get done. That's going to get done. Um, that's going to get done. So, that's three culture bombs right off the bat in those positions. Especially because that'll give me a bit more control over these tiles. Uh, the Hansa there will help open up some more tiles for me to expand into. So, that's, that's very much uh, what I need at this point in the game. Um, you are going to get over there soon. It'll have a nice little bit of uh, production as well, so it doesn't hurt. So definitely good. We're going to move over. We're going to delete the tack. I'm going to place you on top of that, just so that way we have a unit protecting this. We'll name you. Uh, The center gunners, there you go. So that's perfect. Bring these guys on the coastline so when quadrimes come up, I can start plucking away at them. Quadrim comes up here, I can do damage to two of them. If he comes up here, all three of them can make use. So that's good. Um, I'd like to also get that commercial hub. I have nine turns. Is there anything I could do to boost my production? And at this point, the Hansa would be the only thing that would make that faster. So I'll go ahead and get that going. I'll get the Hansa. I'll get the Hansa finished. I'll go Hansa into Commercial Hub. Commercial Hub will get done a little sooner because the Hansa is going to provide a little bit of uh, adjacency. I think it's uh, plus two, so yeah, a little extra that'll that'll just help enough. Perfect. Quadriums are up north. They're they're kind of attacking some of these other units, so no problem. So that works out. That's down to seven turns. So we're right on the money here. Frankfurt will go there. And then I'll put the Hansa here. 
so while I'm at it, or not Hanzo, but the commercial hub. I should have put it there. That's okay. Uh, just small thing, but it's not really going to change anything specific in this case. There we go. Retain high production value. You, I would like you to, um, let's see here. You're gonna have a nice tempo to work with for science, good growth tempo. I'd actually like you to be working that instead. I'd rather get food growth a little sooner. Uh, I've got a good bit of faith, so can I buy a great person? Creates a quadrillion, 20% production growth, naval range, promotion class. That would actually be pretty good to have. I'll get that. It was a perfect opportunity for me to start start making movements around the map and then gaining information so that's a great transition point for that um, you are going to stay here i want to see if i can bring these guys into more of an attractive position for the quadrimes to attack because if that's the case then i'll be able to make use of that and really start attacking even if but a few times the hans are here would be plus four. I'm not going to spend the gold though. I would rather hold on to the gold because I don't have very much at the moment. So that's going to get done in five turns. Then afterwards, let's see here. A mausoleum in quite a few turns. Okay, so in the meantime, because I'm going to start getting engineering points, or great engineer points, that's going to be really useful because I'll start to actually catch up in this regard. And then by the time somebody picks up this guy, I'll actually be able to get um, some decent ones going. So this is totally good. There's no major issues. Um, harbor would actually be very key at this stage. Let's see, if I place a harbor here, I'd rather place the harbor there because then I can clear this and put something down there and that would add more adjacency bonus. Here it's limited by a mine. They're going to stay there. And so far, that's a pretty good position because uh, in this point here, this is probably going to come down. No one said... Uh, actually, wait. Let's see. If it attacks that, then it's going to be a bad move for it. I'm curious to see what it's going to do. Smartest decision it could make. So you, I am going to go ahead and retire you. Um, and I'm going to just have you check out some of these areas. Might as well start just individually exploring each zone. Kind of working its way around here. And let's see here, go back to the great people. Quadrium and then 20% production towards naval ranged units. That's going to be very helpful as I approach the mid game. Because having a really large amount of coastal cities is going to allow me to produce a lot of harbors, which will allow me to produce a lot of naval units. Also then with those naval units be able to start attacking cities and really start like actually making a late game military push. That's the funny thing. I've not met a lot of the other civs yet, but I have an entire region of land for myself, and that can prove pretty useful. So, if I specialize... Let's see, that's the Feudalism Civic, so next turn I'm going to take that off. Should have taken it off sooner, but that's okay. You, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and have attack. Let's have you... Uh, start working your way towards cartography.
Naval Tradition got boosted. Kill unit with Quadrium. Perfect. That's done in two turns. Campus is done now. That is just what I need. Um, now I can go ahead and let's build a granary just so that way I don't need to worry about food tempo because that'll help get that going a little bit faster. I can also go ahead and at this stage now I will buy another trader. Um, yes, I would like another builder, but I would much rather have a trader at this moment. Um, 30 gold a turn is not bad. Uh, that's going to help. Let's see here. That'll get done. That's going to apply, and that'll give me a little bit of, uh, eventually a little bit of uh, bonuses here. Uh, that's a plus two Hanza. That'll get better pretty soon, so I'm not concerned in the least bit for, uh, for general growth speed. So let's see here. So Hanza into Lighthouse. Let's say uh, Hanza into Library into Lighthouse. Might be better. Actually, I'd rather get faster growth. Because then I can get a little bit of housing and that'll help. So you, you have the setup I would like you to have. I will switch on, um, let's see here. That's going to take a while anyways. A good navy is not a provocation to... So you, let's bring you down to uh, Shingeti. It's going to give me a little bit of production, and that's also going to help the city along. Perfect. So that's now down to nine turns, and I'm going to have a nice big trade route that's going to cut through here. It's going to make all of this much, much faster and more optimal, because then I can take a trade route from Frankfurt into, like, Cologne, and that will be a lot faster, because then it'll connect here and just go across here, and now I have more trade route connections. So this is just on the money. I have six envoys. I'm just storing up envoys right now. I don't have a need for it. And really at this current stage, as we'll take a look here, with Venice, see the thing is, is trade routes to foreign cities are a plus one gold for each luxury resource. Venice has one, has two. So that's two gold uh, extra that I'd be making on top of that. And I will be eventually, once I have all of my domestic trade routes done, I will dump trade routes into Venice, and that'll give me a really nice kind of boom to my science income. Um, at this stage, uh, I am considering the option of getting more settlers going, and I will likely do that. Reason being is by the end of, see, we're already well into the medieval era. One, by the end of the Renaissance era, I'd like three more of these cities down, and I'd like another city here. And that way, by the time I end the game, I have a really nice just fill-in of tiles. Um, in the meantime, uh, Reina, you've done plenty enough. I'm going to bring you to Frankfurt. I'd like you to start expanding these tiles more. I need to have more, uh, more you know, tiles here so I don't need to buy as much. That'll just save me a little bit of pressure. So we're good there. We have secured the normal age, just as I planned, so it's just on the money of what I need. Um, feudalism will get done with another farm. We're going to go ahead and work on drama and poetry and recorded history. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is so that way not only will I be able to uh, boost some of my other things, it'll allow me to work on some other adjustments. So I have a couple harbors here. Let's see, that's a plus three harbor. That's a plus three, uh, plus one harbor. Uh, let's see here. So that's plus four gold a turn, so that's not going to be very useful yet. Um, production on all cities is just too, it's just too high of a value. Um, that's just too, too important to have. Or too important not to have, really. Um, let's see here. I will put Corvée on once I know it's a good time. Bring you back, now I know the area. This will get done just in time. It'll culture bomb the tiles nearby. That'll be nice. That's going to give me just a bit more to work with here. So I'm pretty happy with that. I've got plenty, I've got more than enough horses, got plenty of iron. Uh, perfect, so you're going to attack them.
It's only 1 XP, but 1 XP is better than no XP. They really gain XP from attacking cities, and that's where I'm going to eventually be working on that. And you're going to go back to fortification. I'm just going to stay along this coastline here. I've already gotten this boosted, so it is going to be important that I just carry on with what if I'm I doing here. again beginning my studies, the poets have been... So in this position here, let's see, build a classical era or later, wonder. Um, I'll get this to within completion, um, because that's build two harbors, that's 15 turns still. Um, I could probably go to that into mass production. Uh, I'm not going to get a Spearman, so I might as well get some of these other things worked on so I can just save some turns. Even if it's only a couple turns, you know, every turn counts at this stage of the game. Moving around. Now that, now that, uh, now that this is done, sorry, um, Culture Bomb will allow me to expand there, which is good, because then I can now... Uh, let's see here, since I own that tile, swap, swap to your commercial hub, remove those, so now I've got the, the essentials covered, so I'm not going to need that additional like, range of tiles. Um, at this stage, I can go ahead and I will work, let's see, I'll do that and do that. I'm making a pretty nice amount of engineer points and I am starting to get there. Sucks I'm not going to be able to pick that up, but that's okay. I got another thing done. Uh, what's that done just a second ago? Drama poetry, okay. So, yeah, a great writer wouldn't hurt. What I'll do is now in this stage of the game, um, I can change governments, um, the unit experience and all of that. Not really a big deal. So, I could probably go here. I can gain a lot more from this. So, veterancy is going to remain. I'm not concerned about discipline. I'm not really going against enough, uh, enough barbarians to warrant that. Uh, now, I can go ahead and, at this point, since I automatically have one, I'm going to have that there. I'm going to put the settler card into that so I have the space. And then, I could put... Um, a couple of different things. So, a chance to classic republic. So that's going to give me more people, great people points. So that's going to help cities with the district provide housing and amenity. That's going to further amplify my my yield. So all my yields are now a little better. Um, let's see here. What I'll actually do is because of the amount of units I have, I will probably put conscription on for. Let's see here, for those buildings, that's going to get slowed down a little bit, but it's going to keep the gold cheaper. 30%. I could probably actually just stick with Charismatic Leader and then go uh, uh, Conscription there, and that's fine for now. There's not very much else here that's actually of really high value in my current part of the game. That's only four golds worth. I'm not going to be building builders yet until I have the double, like two more charges. Um, I'm not worried about getting Liang, it's not a big deal. I'd rather not use the very few governor titles on another governor yet. Um, housing and you know, buildings with two specialty districts, yeah, it's not bad, but um, this government type is kind of covering that need here. So we're okay since we're getting the cities with the district receive one housing and one amenity. That, that pretty much covers what I need. Settler production, oh, that's good. That's is good to save me money. So we're okay there. Um, uh, purchasing a tile, I'm not concerned about that at the moment. You know, I'm making enough gold to where my overall yields are not going to have issues. So we're in a pretty decent spot. You know, I'd rather pick up more of a broad type of standpoint now that I have my military needs covered. I literally can only vote for myself here. That's kind of funny. 
So we'll do that. Barbarians are, of course, approaching this city. So what I'll do is I will bring this closer. That way we can get in control of this region. Um, also, settlers, five turns. It's pretty damn fast. Um, I may consider doing that. Yeah, I'll do that so that way I can get this city filled in. The earlier I do that, the better, because I'm going to have another city here. Um, I would like to house the production in this city. Harbor campus in Hansa, so that's plenty. That's going to get me started. And eventually, once I have seven population, I'll put down commercial hub. And that'll just make all this will just sweeten up these two a little bit. Um, let's see. Harbor campus and... Uh, see here. But we'll need to make a Hansa eventually. Harbor here. Not sure. It's probably the commercial hub I'm working on. Yeah. So Harbor Campus Commercial Hub. No problem. Uh, that's going to take 17 turns, so that's going to take a while. But um, that will cover some of the needs that I have on getting you know people people going. Otherwise, I'll just go ahead and produce them from the capital. Because food growth in the city is only nine, it's thirteen here. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it in my capital. I'll just make another settler. Okay, so somebody went for Colosseum. That's fine. So now that I have another trade route available. What I'm going to do is I can put it to Venice. I could also put it to Jerusalem and then take it to Venice. Or Cologne, actually. This would be better. That way, uh, that way I can work another trade route. may not get me as much gold right now, but it's going to provide better use later in the game. Um, you, let's bring you around. Let's keep you working around. Settler. Um, you're going to go here. I'm actually going to invest in another settler. These other things are all done. I do have the means to produce something. So uh, where so dams are here. So a dam here would basically cover, you know, the needs for this particular city group. And I could probably, you know, eventually, uh, since this is a different. Yeah, since this is another river here, which is really good, I can put a dam and an aqueduct here, and then put a Hansa here in this section here and cover these cities. So all of my cities are basically going to have nice setups. Um, so that's really going to that's really going to boost me up a lot. It's it's very much important that I do that. Um, diplomatic quarter would be good. Having a consulate and some other stuff would give me a little bit of extra uh, means of uh, growth. So what I'll do is. So I'll harvest that diplomatic quarter. Yeah, so we'll do diplomatic quarter into Hansa here. Or we'll do diplomatic quarter and then we could potentially do Hansa. Oh, that's it's a one three tile, it's too valuable. So we'll do we'll go there. Or Theater Square would be good because I could use some use some culture. We are very uncultured in this game, <laughs> uh, so I may do that. Is there a wonder that I could build adjacent to the capital? No. But I can't technically get a harbor here, which, eh, you know, wouldn't hurt. And that's a plus four. 
which immediately is already really nice. Um, it's a it's a tough decision because my district planning may not incorporate the best adjacency bonus right away, but they will be like better by the late game. So that's where I'm kind of debating it. You know, I'm not really sure. So Quadream's just going to do their thing a little bit. They're going to keep working their way south. You know, maybe heal up a little bit just in case. And then work your way around. Um, you're going west. You're going to produce another one. You're going to produce one. So those two cities are now going to go ahead and fill in this area. We've got one more coming up here. So that's four more settlements. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that's ten cities by a turn 150. That'll that'll help me a lot. Um, it'll boost up to where basically my site, my other cities, I can really start focusing on like legitimate growth, which is really what I need right now. I, I need to be growing in population. My population growth is pretty bad. Um, Let's see here. History is the version of past event. So now you go to Venice. That's going to boost my economy. I want you to rest and repair. I want you to move south a little bit just so I have better intel on what's around me. I have another promotion available. Um I'll have to look for what city's got the best value and then do it there. I might, I might do this city here. Um, I might do Harbor Master. That could be pretty good. Let's see here. You see bonuses from commercial hubs and harbors. It's going to take a while to get that stuff going. And yes, I am focusing on the commercial hub because that's going to benefit these cities in the long term more. Victor, don't need. Amani, don't need. Moksha, don't need. Magnus, at the moment, you know, would be nice. Um, I'll put one promotion. Well, I'll just go ahead and pick them up. And then the cities that have um, all of these tiles, I will go ahead and pop them into. So maybe I'll put one in there. You know, farm those. Uh, yeah, that could work. Feudalism Civic. Let's buy, uh, let's see here. I need another turn. So what I'll do is I'll establish you and Jerusalem. That way I can harvest, harvest that tile. That'll cover that. I'm going to go ahead and work on civil service. Just naturally complete it. This is good. So we got the cities covered. Yeah, I can make a city there, but I'm not going to make that city until like much later in the game. It's more important and relevant that I make cities in places that I'm going to have much more early value from. So actually, I'm going to leave that there until the turn's over. I'm going to delete that tack. Leave that. Once buttressing is, I may just complete buttressing just for the sake of completing it because it's going to take me way too long to get um, a mausoleum going. You're going to attack them. Just to weaken them a little bit. And then soften them up. You're going to attack. You're going to go down south a little bit. And you guys are going to go south one tile. That way you can cover this area a little better. And I'd say that's pretty good for this position here. Uh, let's go ahead and let's consider where else we can move to here. Go ahead and settle. Hamburg is ready. Um, Harbor here. It's plus one. 
plus two because I'm next to the city center. Um, plus two here, you know, could be good. A harvest here, it's one, two, that's three food. So um, I would gain more from popping that there, getting immediate growth. Anywhere I could build a campus, that's decent. No to Hanzo's, theater squares. So go ahead and put that there. That way I can put something in between, and that'll give adjacency to both of these. Uh, well, with this, because it's a government plaza here, and maybe I'll put a theater square there, and that'll that'll help. Okay. So I'm going to bring you back into the cap, or not capital, sorry, into the city. And I'm going to go ahead and promote you into bombardment. I'd like you to go ahead and start getting ready to eventually be good against cities. Bring you down. It really, once my gold income is solid enough, um, I'll be in a position where I, we can really gain some legitimate value from uh, stuff being where I need them, where I need it to be. I'm curious to see if there's a sieve that has an ability where if a trade route goes through a certain uh, district, it provides like plus one point or something like that, adjacency bonus. So that's going to go there. Uh, I'm going to continue on with... Uh, da, da, da. Now I don't need to make any more settlers in this city. I'm going to bring you back. I want to kite you guys up here so we can flunk you. That way you're both ready to go. That way you're all set up to protect this region here. You're going to go here. This is perfect. I'm actually starting to gain a little bit of tempo here, so this is good. You can go there. Next turn, you can harvest that. It might be a turn or two after, because... Uh, ah, yeah, no, it might be a turn late, because uh, this is... 135, so two turns away, that's fine. So you will skip turn. You guys will all fortify. And we found ourselves another island. Another landmass nearby. So more places that we can settle into once we have established our empire where we need it. added somewhere close to my left. Just get him out of there. There's no connection point here, so I'm going to have to just bring him as far away. And what I'm going to do is basically just try to... Uh, let's see here. Probably get a couple quadrimes. You may consider that. Maybe put a harbor here. And that way I can just kind of quickly uh, pump a few units out. It's only six turns for quadrimes, so it's not that bad. Actually, this city has some good production right off the bat. So I may do that. I'd rather get a quadrimes. Because naval range units will be really key. So you... Buy said tile, harvest the tile, bring you up in population, and then this will have the Hansa ready. So I'm going to reassign you into uh, Aachen. So you're going to go to Aachen. 
you're going to go to Jerusalem, and that's perfect. Okay. He's definitely good. Uh, let's hope he stays alive. Perfect. So we got a good normal age to take into account. An architect should. A people's. Plus, I will eventually want to get. Oh, it's not. It has to be floodplains. Okay. I thought it was just anywhere that a river could be placed. So let's look up floodplains. So a dam here is technically viable. And there is one there. Okay. So what city is that? I will likely go, ah, oh man. So the science one, uh, free inquiry is not there anymore. I will probably start going for that now. And just start bringing them around. So you, let's make a farm. We have uncovered betwixt the stirrup and the ground. Right, boost that. With the advance and boost that. Perfect. I have seven envoys. It's just right that I have plenty because that means I can dump envoys into another city state and immediately control a city state, say like an industrial one. And that'll be perfect for my build. Uh, I'm going to remove that um, since I can't do that. That'll mean I'll have to find something else here that I could utilize. I will build something there eventually. I will clear that for campus. Uh, let's see here. Am I focused? Okay, so I am. There is a capability of getting quick food growth so we're okay so we're, we're totally okay it's next to a, that's too close to that i'd rather not chance that if i can't build anything i'll just probably build like an entertainment complex or a theater square or something there Diplomatic quarter. Uh, let's see here. I could probably build. That'll turn into a plus two. If I continue to specialize, I could gain a lot. Just having a bunch of Hanzas will be good. So Hanza there with another mine, that's good. Then I could put something here. Yeah, I'll, I'll just basically utilize this as an opportunity to spam Hanzas, because that way I can just gain a boatload of... Uh... Oh, I should have changed something, but that's fine. Actually, I need the Settler card still, so we're okay. That works out. Just trying to keep you on the edge away from stuff if I can help it. I'm going to save the last use here for... Do, do, do. Now I have a nice little farm triangle. I could probably make, make a farm diamond here and that'll be good. I may do that.
Because, yeah, I could harvest it. But, let's see here. One, two. That commercial hub is there. That commercial hub is there. That's floodplain, so that technically counts. That's one turn from being done. So I'll actually I'll go ahead and uh, see if I harvest it. Is there anything I could put there that would give it a boost? Doesn't look like it now. So let's gain more here. This is going to get a lot of food tempo. It's a pretty significant amount of food to work with, so that's great. Um, good position here. Let's see here. Overall, I'm happy with that. Uh, that is now ready. Other city, perfect. Do, do, do. That's a bunch of two ones. What's around it? Nothing too impressive. One turn. So I'll wait till next turn because getting another amenity would be useful. Um, I can I can definitely I could definitely uh, benefit from that. I'm gonna go ahead and consider options for let's see one. One, two, three. Could be cheeky and put another Hansa here. And then put a commercial hub here. Just have like a nice little span of stuff here. So I'll do I'll do just that. Um That would be a pretty good harbor, so I'll go ahead and get a harbor here. And since I have the harbor available, I'll go ahead and go into Granary, and then Granary into a harbor, and I'll think that's a good point there. It's definitely a good position. Um, I'm going to very patiently try to bring you around here. Nice and easy. That looks like there might be a uh, maybe Brazil. That was the mistake I was trying to avoid doing. So that's probably going to die, and that's annoying. If it does die, I'm actually going to revert the save just because that's going to have too much of an impact on my game. Because they're just going to kite towards it immediately, as I would expect. That was a dumb mistake. Man, I'm, I'm going to beat myself up over that one. Yeah, it's okay. I'll revert. Because that's definitely 100% dead. Yeah, okay. That's fine. I'll just know better to be it's a bit more careful next fun. time. Small mistake, but... I'm just going to go ahead and work through that one. Normally, I wouldn't uh, try to revert a save, but that's going to have too much of an impact on the game itself, so I'd rather play it safe there. You have built great cities of stone and seen early empires rise and fall. Soon you will stand under the towering pinnacles of castles alongside your gallant knights. That is where the story of your people will be written. Just as the young apprentice learns to carry a sword, so shall you grow to understand your place in this world. Heroic Frederick, King of... Let's see here. Guild's getting that done is good, because that's only 10 turns. Uh, industrial zone... Oh, that's a... That's a military policy slot. Okay, so I'm immediately going to put that on. Um, that's that is very nice. Um, both of those are going to be key because then I could put that on. Oh, dude. Okay, I didn't realize that was going to be a military slot. I, 
I've only seen that as an economic slot, unless the newer expansions made that different, which is possible. I'm going to leave you up here. And maybe just take you back here, get some distance. I have another trade route available. It's all papers and forms. The entire civil service is like a fortress made of papers, forms, and red tape. So this will have plenty of population. So that's it actually makes more sense to put them there. Um, this is going to be losing population soon. So it makes sense to focus that. You are going to put that settler there. You're going to put that settler there. And that's going to be the fastest way to go about this just overall. At least that it looks like so far. Um, these guys can't embark yet, I don't think. I thought they could. Oh, it's because I'm on um, I'm on the rugged landscape. That's why. That makes more sense. Perfect. And so I want you to go up and attack him, and then you'll get plunked pretty quickly. Um, I could go. F I will actually. You know what? I will probably go for guilds. Um, that's going to apply. Oh, ooh. Maintain four trade routes. Do I have any other uh, markets that are that are uh, close? That's a no. That's a no. That's a no. Ooh. Oh, actually, that's six turns away. Um, I would definitely say for sure um, I'll get this done, and then I'll go into that. That'll give me time to get this going, and then I can get Humanism. Because then I'll go in from Humanism into the other top tree one here. I'd go for humanism for sure because uh, invention here is going to be absolutely critical for the kind of build I want to go for. I'll actually get these guys over here so I can establish a presence here because maybe I can eventually settle a couple more cities here and just start expanding more. Wouldn't hurt. Cartography is almost done. That is absolutely perfect. Um, so that'll go down, but I'm going to land him here. And now they're all in position to attack. So that's good. Extremely risky, but uh, I'm glad that paid off. You, I'm going to go ahead and just plunk you, kill that guy off. Bring you around and have you ready on the far side. And once we have the means to travel across deeper waters, that'll be absolutely critical because you are going to go right back to home. So you are done. You're going to go here. You're going to go ahead and fortify for the turn. Um, I don't need another settler for a while. I'm not going to need it. I'm in a great I'm in a great position right now, so I'm pretty happy here. 
I'm producing uh, 2.3 great engineer points per turn, but that's going to not too far from here. It go pretty quickly. Workshops for five plus three culture. Holy shit, that is really, really nice. Um, okay, I'm 100% focusing on that. I'm for sure getting close to getting that. That's not going to hurt. But eventually I'm going to develop enough of a gold economy where other things can just immediately be competitive. Um, a dam there would be really critical. One, two, three. Let's see. This would be a really good city for specializing in growth and food growth. So I feel like it would probably be better, probably be better that I probably built the Hansa here at some point, but I'm not going to be able to for a while. Yeah, actually, it might be better just to get it going in Aachen because I can do more with that. A plus, a plus three Hansas immediately just as it's built. It's too valuable because it's going to be plus five. And then I could find something to build here and I would just, that'll just take it over the top. Just at this current phase of the game, there's just too much value in, in a plus three Hansa. So that's being built. So I can get rid of that. So I'll go Hansa into dam. That's just going to be the best thing for me. So I've got two trade routes here. Um, I'm going to wait till I can get a couple more. Uh, see a trader here. I could probably gain a lot more from just having other trade routes. So trade routes are already cutting through here. I could probably go Frankfurt to Venice. Or I could go Frankfurt to Hamburg. That way I have more movement in the area. Good, so that was able to take a hit. That's going to move up. They're all going to move up. You guys are going to move back. So Frankfurt, you're going to go to... That's actually... Somehow that's going to actually benefit mines because that's going to come around... And I mean, I need to get a trade route going that way anyways. And that's that's 16, that's uh, just under 19, uh, 17 gold a turn. That's pretty damn good. You guys are going to bug back. Both of you can handle being in that position. They'll move up. Archer next turn will be able to do some damage. And the Quadrim, if they move up here, they can both attack. That's going to die. Shit, there happened to be another Quadrim. Ah, that's, that sucks. It is what it is. If the Quadrim is really the one I want to make sure no matter what I don't lose. Because having those are going to really help for my later game. I need them. More than anything else in the game right now. Not all who wander. Cartography. Fishing boat improvements. I'm going to eventually start focusing on that pretty heavily. Um, now I'm at this stage in the game where I really am going to be limited to uh, economic policy slots. Let's see here, kill unit with a musket man, that's not happening. But what will be happening is I will go for some of these things here. Education wouldn't hurt.
Let's see. Move you there, move you there. That'll kill that unit. When that move it comes up to attack, they'll be able to do some damage. Move you up. Since you decided to kill my unit, I can kill you back. It's only fair. Good. There happens to be one of those there. Not a bad thing to find. So now you're going to go here. You're going to finish off your movement here. Delete that. I'm going to put you in mines just so that way you could heal up faster and also be in a good, just a place that's secure. They can both take that guy down, or at least get him really weak to where he runs away. Promotion available. It's going to be a long time until these guys get, can get promoted, but that's okay. You're going to keep pushing up. He with this. That way that's taken care of. So guilds is done in two turns, and once I have guilds, what I'll do is I'll switch the builder card on and buy myself a builder and that way a five charge builder will kind of cover much of the stuff that i need to have done for example you know get a get a campus here i'm actually going to take that there is little man has made that approaches anything in nature oh as a sailing ship does oh <laughs> no fucking way Oh, that is super clutch. Oh, wow. Now these guys are actually going to... Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm going to have to save up gold for a frigate and get Niter, apparently. Speaking of which... Two things to do. Construction, and then build an aqueduct. You will go bombardment as well, and you will back off. That's going to be coming across anyways. And by the time this guy starts moving back, most of these guys will be cleared out, so we're totally fine here. Um, let's go ahead and get that going. It's five population. That's pretty damn good already. That's good. Stuff is pretty darn good. I got what I need here. Could put on a little more production if I wanted to make this faster, so I'll leave that. Uh, that's These things are too valuable, and I'm going to take that off to go here and to that. That'll be slow going, but that's down to 13 turns. It's a little faster. Uh, workshop is complete. So I do have a few, a couple, like two or three workshops now. It's a really good thing to have at this stage of the game because once I have guilds the next turn, that, or not guilds, it's a, uh... let's see here. There it is, invention, sorry. Uh, invention, then I'll be able to really do quite a bit there. Leonardo da Vinci, I am very much going to focus heavily on that. Because once I get that card, that's going to boost this significantly. Um, I can go for this guy, but I'm probably just going to go for it naturally instead. I'd rather save the faith on another buy of some kind somewhere that's going to be useful. There's eight faiths per turn. I mean, it's not a lot, obviously, by any means. It's very little. 
but at this type of game it's nice it's just it's basically a little bit of income that's going to come in as i need it um let's see here i could say i mean a dipple quarter is not bad that's three turns for a damn dipple quarter that's pretty quick does that give See, I don't know. I don't think it gives an adjacency bonus. And, uh, I mean, a theater score wouldn't hurt. I would say I'd rather get the builder south here. Yeah. I would say next turn. So I'll go ahead and... Ooh, actually, I can build a builder south and then buy a builder north, and that's going to come in clutch. Yeah, I'll do that. That That's exactly like that. Totally, totally, totally. Let's do that. Uh, let's go Granary into Monument. Um, not worry about Hansa's here for now. These are, are going to be done soon. Eventually getting these done. I want you to move up. I want this to get attacked. Every man should make his son learn some useful. And we're gonna put that on. That's gonna boost my production so much. That's gonna help me so much, man. Oh man, that's exciting. Um, and then commercial hub. Put that on. Actually, I'm going to take that off for now. Get served them. Knowledge of banking. Perfect, perfect. You will rest and repair. You will come over. You will kill this off because I need to get a kill here quickly. And then I can start pro properly exploring these areas more. So we have 29 terrans. I'm definitely capable of doing that because I'll bring... Uh, I'll bring this guy over and he'll help start clearing some stuff out as well. So we will go medieval fairs into humanism. Um... Both well, of these are useful in different ways, but not really concerned. Uh, let's see here. Um, getting a Dipple Favor or Dipple Quarter will actually be good, though, because I eventually want to go into that. So. There's only one lake in this entire city, so. Oh, wait. Uh, Chichenisa. Chichen Itza, two culture for all rainforest, one production all rainforest, most people on rainforest. I'm gonna go build her into Chichen Itza. And that'll be perfect. You are going to take researcher. That'll continue to help buoy up my science for turn. That'll bring it up to 40. Yes, perfect. Really? Fuck. Sorry, fellas. I'm going to have to go back one more time much as that's really frustrating i can't be losing naval units otherwise the uh i'm not going to be able to learn better about what i can do you know later in the game new powers call forth i normally wouldn't do this of muskets but, to flowers of fire in the uh, sky yeah even the quiet words i'm having difficulties with the uh barbarians at the within. moment as you can see the so i need to figure out how to deal with that at a decent rate has grown smaller and more familiar 
Yet, there are always questions to be answered, faiths to be tested, and national identities to be formed. Heroic Frederick, king of the... Okay. You can't go around... Bring you south with him, and let these guys come up north. That way, these guys are in protection range. You will finish up healing. These guys will clear this out, and then we will all just ship a massive army down. So, first things first, uh, settler card goes... Um, Serfdom's gonna go on. Craftsman's gonna go on. I'm gonna leave that on because that's helping buoy up my mil uh, my economy. I'm gonna leave that on. Don't really need loyalty. See, that's the great thing in my situation. Loyalty is not a problem. There's not a single other sieve in my main island, so the loyalty pressure is non-existent. Um, amenity, not a problem. I've got plenty enough. This could definitely be useful, but... Not a concern right now in this stage of the game. So we're good there. So as before, researcher. You guys will just heal up. You will alert. Civic, we will go directly into humanism. These guys will come up north. I know I overextended. So they have access to o uh, ocean tiles now, which is in itself concerning. Um, I will go for Chichen Itza. We'll take the great person. Uh, where are you at? You're right here. I'm gonna go here. Um, you know, that's actually, yeah, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on to him, uh, because if I could make an industry, that could be useful. It's only 200 gold, which isn't that bad. I'd make enough gold per turn, and it's one envoy. I have seven, so I'm doing okay. I'm not in, like, a majorly, like, you know, emergency situation there. see here I can only upgrade these guys like if I found another Civ and they had Niter and I basically bought a shit ton of it um, or 20 of it upgraded this guy this guy would clear these guys out like nothing so you're gonna come back you're going to just stay still if not, you're going to move back here. I'd like to kite you guys up north and be out of range of these other guys. So you're going to alert. You're going to rest and repair. You're going to move. You're going to move. They're going to get hit, but that's okay. They're both in range to do damage on the Quadrim, so no problem. Quadrim will get outgunned here. There's probably another barb camp in the south here, so we will deal with that. Perfect. So yeah, you're doing damage, but creates with the We should be able to outgun it. And if it gets bad, I'll switch them out. Uh what got completed? Well, something did. Not sure what. So I'll have to figure out what that was, but uh, no problem. So in this position here, um, in seven turns, I'll be getting a lighthouse. That's what I need. Need it pretty badly because I just need another trade route available. It's um, really at this moment, uh, it wouldn't hurt to go ahead and get Merchant Republic. Um, just having access to more. But the thing is, is that, see, that could be useful. 
Reduction towards districts. Doesn't hurt. Um, St. Basil's Cathedral. I will eventually want to consider going for that because that'll actually be pretty good up north. Not concerned about that. Not concerned about that. I could make a, a go at this, but it's going to take a while to get to. So I think it's more relevant for me to, to get this worked on a little bit. Bring it closer to completion. Uh, continue saving up gold as of right now. Because that would be a full workshop to buy. So we're okay there. Actually building that would be good. Gonna take 45 turns for that, 45 more turns for that. This gonna it's this is gonna be pretty slow. It's like a slow cooker. Okay, so you built that. Venice. What was the, wait, minor resource. Oh, oh, okay. No problem. So that's up to four. So you, um, I'm going to want to wait. So I need to think about where else can I, okay, you're, you're there. So I'm going to remove that. Perfect. It's exciting. So I have. Almost all of the cities that I need in my main infrastructure plan. These will, I will work on these eventually. So I'm not worried about those. There's going to be low, low growth tiles. So it's going to be really important that I eventually get St. Uh, St. Uh, Basil's uh, Cathedral. Uh, you're in a perfect spot. That way you can grow to some other positions and put down some stuff. So no problem. You are going to remain there because... Uh, Let's take a look here. So 30% production towards buildings. So that would be pretty good in the capital. Um, capital is going to need that production. So you're going to go ahead and just hang out. You're going to go to sleep. You're going to get used, but it's not going to be for a while. Not worried about the flooding. Okay, perfect. So Aachen got that done. Dam went from like 20-something turns down to, to that. Um, yeah, because that's a six production Hanza, so that's a huge boost to production. Now I've got 18 production in that city instead of 12. Basically a 50% increase. Let's do a little bit of damage. If I bring them over, there's too much risk that that unit's going to get destroyed, so I want to wait. Just keep resting and repairing for a turn. Let's actually bring you down one. That way you're in range of attacking both units. Um, you, Let's have you go down this direction. It's time that we go ahead and get the campus started here. Good place for growth. You will go ahead and take that tile. It'll slow down the growth in that city down, but this tile now is going to be a six turn growth, so I'd, I'd much rather have that there. Uh, that's plus four. Plus four, and then if I put uh, see, I can only put one dam, so that's kind of unfortunate, but I could put an aqueduct here, potentially.
And eventually, I can go down the tree for Magnus and get vertical integration if I have enough governor titles. Because um, I'll probably go down the left tree. You know, so that'd be one, two, three. And then all these other um, industrial zones are going to like just boost the capital into really nice production value, which is the goal. This will be a character where I can do that. So that's going to hurt. That hasn't moved yet. Uh, that's going to kill it. Fucking come on. All right. I'm going to refresh the save, and then I'm going to just save and stop at that moment. So I apologize about this particular video being a, a bit rougher. Um, I'm still not really good with the strategy against that many AI. You know, I'm trying to figure out how I can go about that. I don't really understand the best strategies you yet, so I want to learn forth, more. From the barrel of muskets to flowers of fire in the sky. Even the quiet words on newly printed pages hold great change. So I'm sure it also has to do with the way I'm positioning world, some of those things. One so vast and mysterious has grown smaller and more familiar. Yet, there are always questions to be answered, faith to be tested, and national identities to be formed. Heroic Frederick, King of the Jews. So you will. Head that way. So have you moved there? Could probably fortify. You will finish up. So that way I can finish up everything I need to do. Um, A monument into granary. That's a pretty good position so far. I'll leave that one as is. Uh, we got a good amount of coverage here. I'll probably make another quadrium. Uh, that may be a good idea. Uh, let's see here. Typically can't make that, but man, would I love to be able to do that. Um, I'm definitely going to try to get this ASAP. I'm not worried about building an aqueduct. It's just going to take too long, so... Because I don't even have it unlocked. So that's going to lose health a lot. Perfect. It's an opportunity to strike back. Let's get you out of there. And now... Now my units are guaranteed safety. So that's fine. Okay, and you will skip turn for now. And let's see here. It's pretty good. All right, everyone. I want to thank you for your time. And uh, this will be a good stopping point for carry on some of the other sub-series. Everyone have a good one. You all take care. Speed DMAN out.